so I'm gonna review the things that I haven't talked about yet about bonds. Now, also the call date here, and we already talked about calls and when a bond is callable or not, it says not available, but if uh, that's because this, uh, there is actually a schedule for of different dates uh, that where the bond can be called and is listed right here. Instead, if it was only one call date or if the, the bond had only one chance of being called, it would probably be displayed here. Now, another thing I haven't talked about is um, insurance. And that it, if your bond is insured, it will for sure be displayed in the description, and it's displayed right here. And in this case, insurance is national or NATL, I think. Yes, NATL. Um, if you see that the insurance, it's uh, if you see that the insurance um, space in your listing is empty or says NA, it means that this bond is not insured. Now, if you see a name there, in, that's the name of the insurance company, which in this case I believe is National. So, different bonds we have insurance or not. Uh, most corporate bonds, if not all, are not insured, so they don't offer that protection. And uh, some, not all, of the municipal bonds actually have some insurance. And the insurance is supposed to uh, be an extra protection for your investment in case the bond defaults. And supposedly, if the bond defaults, then the insurance should step in and help you to uh, refund your losses or refund the losses. And now there is a risk that if this happens, let's say, I always like to see the worst scenario, that the bond defaults and then a lot of bonds were emitted and insured and then the insurance company gets all these claims all of a the sudden, there is possible that the uh, insurance company will also default or will also go bankrupt because cannot cope with all the claims and then that's the bigger risk. Of course this is a worst case scenario and the chances of this happening probably are very low or lower lower than normal but uh, it's important to know and be, be aware of that. So the other things I haven't talked about is the tax taxes. Uh, most corporate bonds you have to pay taxes but again some of the municipal bonds are tax exempt and you don't need to pay taxes. That's something you can uh, compute or, or calculate and <coughs> it's going to be a benefit for your return of investment. Now check with if it is because this will depend if the bond is tax exempt or not and also sometimes depending on where you live uh, this, this tax exemption may apply or not. Finally the delivery method of this uh, listing it was just a book entry meaning in that it's an uh, entry from the financial institution that pulled down uh, the bond information from. And uh, also something I haven't talked about is the type of bond itself and for that I'm going to talk in the next video.